How's it going everyone, Equinox Phoenix here, and today we are going to talk about my top 10 anime of uh, fall 2020. Um, I think I missed the last top se countdown series for this, but yeah, that's because there was less than 5 animes that I truly thought were the top, right? So, without further ado... Let's get started, right? Woo! Number 10! Is it wrong to pick, uh, try to pick up Girls in a Dungeon Season 3? Uh, this was at one point, um, I think it was Season 2, my favorite anime of the season. Now, of course, Season 3, I had a couple hiccups here and there, and it got dropped all the way down to 10. Um... Because it was kind of a very conflict-centric uh, season uh, this season. Anyway, so it got dropped down to number 10. Now, I'm sure those of you who watched know the um, synopsis of this anime. So, season 3 revolves around this girl and other monsters like her. Um... Who are the word? I forget the word. Um, sentient. It's probably the not sentient. Um, more human. I guess is is probably a good way. They they have speech. They can talk. Monsters who can talk. That's I forget what the group is called, but hmm. Oof. It does not seem to tell. Okay, so this is like a serious thing. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on from here, right? This is just a season three. Let's move on to ones that actually have a synopsis. Number nine, Noblesse. Uh, Noblesse is uh, pretty interesting, actually. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty interesting. Um. Oh, the end day, that's for sure. Anyway, number nine is Noblesse. Um, so, let's stay on format and just count down. <laughs> Synopsis is in front of you. You guys can pause and leave it as always. So, um, give you time to pause. Number eight, Moriarty the Patriarch. The Patriot. Yeah, I was going to say Patriarch. He's not really the patriarch of his family in this one. This one also has a season 2 coming up. Uh, I believe it's next season, so. Let's see where it is there. Number 8. Iwaka Keru, Sport Climbing Girls. Ow. Sorry, got something in my eye. Ah, time for pause. This one was actually pretty interesting. I, I like the dynamic of this one. Number seven. Or is this six? I can't count. Hold up. Ten, nine, eight, seven was Iwa Kakeru. So that would be this would be number six. Warlords of Sig Sigurd Rifa. Ugh. That's a word and a half. Um I'm sure I butchered that, but yeah. <laughs> Teaser's not available in the US. <laughs> That's funny. Pause for the synopsis. Here are the characters. Oof. Number five. Adachi and Shimamura. Ah! Uh, what can I say about this? But it's slice of life, honestly. I like it. 
All right, number four. Our Last Crusade or The Rise of a New World. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. A, a very uh, interesting take on what is essentially Romeo and Juliet. Although, they, although neither of them die in this one. That might be like a next season kind of thing. Assuming it gets a second season. It should. <laughs> but anyway, number three. Assault Lily Bouquet. Let's give you time to read the synopsis. Number two. And this is one, uh, this one, this one was, uh, was pretty funny, actually. Kuma 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 Bear. That's, um... We're getting a second season. I actually did not know that. <laughs> it's kind of like pseudo isekai. <laughs> But also full isekai. This one's, uh, let's give you some time to read the thing. Pause and whatnot. Anyway, now I'm going, now for honorable mentions, we have Fire Force Season 2 and Sleeping Princess in the Demon Lord's Castle or Demon Castle, something like that. Anyway, those two, um, were like on the cusp, right? We're on the cusp between, between like a masterpiece and really, really good. <laughs> Right, like, those two were, like, on the cusp, but of course, it's a top ten. You know, I'm already pushing it as is. Now, number one, my favorite anime of the season. Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. <laughs> this is an anime I desperately hope gets a second season. Um, for a multitude of reasons, and if you want to learn why, I recommend watching the anime, honestly. Um, but yeah, that is my top 10 of fall 2020. I apologize that the, uh, that this video is coming almost 10 days late. It's about nine and a half days late. It was supposed to go up roughly around this time in the PM on the 20th. Unfortunately, January is not the best month for me. Personally, uh, so m content will usually be very erratic like I have I pretty much haven't streamed all month or worked or done anything I've just been sat at home wishing I'd had a better life uh in all in all honesty um this month is the month where my depression is at an all-time high due to how my childhood was like it wasn't the worst I I'll more than willing to admit that, but it also wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, before uh, this becomes a an update video, uh, that's going to be for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay bright.